Hey there, have you ever wondered where all that plastic ends up after you throw it away? It might be out of sight, but certainly not out of mind. Plastic pollution is one of the most serious environmental challenges we face today. So what exactly is plastic pollution and why should we care? Let's dive into it! In essence, plastic pollution refers to the accumulation of plastic products and materials in the environment which cause harm to wildlife, ecosystems and human health. But how does it even get there? Let's explore the five main causes of plastic pollution. First, we have single-use plastics. Items like straws, plastic bags and bottles are used once and then discarded. They make up a significant portion of the waste we generate. Second, plastic packaging. Nearly everything we buy today comes in plastic packaging, from food to electronics and most of it ends up in landfills or oceans. Third, poor waste management. In many parts of the world, waste management systems are either inadequate or non-existent, leading to plastic waste being dumped directly into the environment. Fourth, littering. People often dispose of plastic improperly, leaving it to blow around and pollute the landscape. And fifth, plastic production itself. The sheer volume of plastic produced each year, estimated to be over 300 million tons, means that we constantly create more waste than we can manage. Now that we know how plastic ends up in our environment, let's take a look at the main effects of plastic pollution. Plastic pollution has far-reaching effects. One of the most immediate consequences is the damage it causes to ecosystems. Plastics don't biodegrade easily, which means they can stay in the environment for hundreds of years. As they break down into smaller pieces, they leach harmful chemicals, which can contaminate soil and water sources, but also animals. In addition, plastics contribute to climate change. The production and disposal of plastic products release greenhouse gases adding to the climate crisis. But perhaps the most alarming effect is how plastic moves around the world. So, how does plastic travel the globe? Well, plastic waste doesn't stay put. Wind, ocean currents and rivers carry plastics long distances from where they were discarded. Microplastics, tiny particles that result from larger plastic waste breaking down, are found in the most remote corners of the planet, from the Arctic ice to the deepest parts of the ocean. These microplastics are not only in the environment, but also ingested by marine life, entering the food chain. They've been found in fish, shellfish and even in the water we drink and the air we breathe. And if that's not enough, did you know that over 8 million tons of plastic enter our oceans every year? That 91% of plastic ever produced has not been recycled? That 33% of found marine mammals have plastic in their stomachs? that plastic pollution kills more than 100 million marine animals every year, and that there will be more plastic in the ocean than fish by 2050 if current trends continue. Now let's talk about how we can stop plastic pollution. While it may seem overwhelming, there are several effective actions that we can all take to make a difference. First, reduce single-use plastics. Opt for reusable bottles, bags and containers instead of disposable ones. Second, support businesses that use sustainable packaging. By choosing products with minimal or no plastic packaging, you're helping to reduce the demand for plastic waste. Third, recycle properly. Ensure you're following your local recycling guidelines and avoid contaminating recyclable plastics with food waste. Fourth, clean up your local environment. Participate in beach cleanups or community recycling drives. Every little bit helps. And finally, advocate for stronger policies. Push for legislation that bans harmful plastics, encourages recycling and funds cleanup efforts around the world. As we have seen, plastic pollution is a serious problem, but it's one that we can tackle together. By being more mindful of our plastic use and making small changes in our everyday habits, we can help to protect our planet for future generations. So what will you do today to reduce plastic pollution? Let me know in the comments! If you found this video informative, please give it a like and share your thoughts on plastic pollution in the comments below. 
If you would like to know more about sustainability in general, please hit that subscribe button and check out the other videos on my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.